all right guys how's it going so i'm out here changing my oil gonna put some fresh rotella in here because spring is coming i changed the oil back in uh gosh i guess it was back in the fall because i wanted to get through the winter time i hate coming out and doing anything on the truck when it's really cold outside so i made it through winter spring is coming and it's time to change the oil again but i remembered something uh which i'm going to talk about here for just a second and that is last fall, before we were headed into winter, I used this product right here. This is made by the same people that make the PB Blaster Penetrant that everybody loves. Uh, this is called Surface Shield. And obviously it's in an aerosol can. And uh, last fall I bought a six pack case of these. And it only took three cans to do this entire Super Duty truck front to back, which I was really impressed with. And this stuff went on really awesome. It was an, a piece of cake to put it on uh, with these aerosol cans. Um, some people have said that they've had trouble with the cans clogging up. I didn't have problems with any of my cans clogging up. Everything worked great. Um, so anyway, it was real easy to put on. And we've gone through winter. We've had a lot of heavy rain. Uh, we've had snow and ice. The roads out here got so bad at one point that there was a really nasty wreck just right down the road here from where I live and uh, my wife and I were headed out to pick up our stepson because he couldn't make it home in his car so we were going out to pick him up in the truck on the way to get him we came upon that crash and then while we were sitting there waiting the sheriff's deputy was coming down in an all-wheel drive Durango or something and he slid into a tree just to give you an idea of how bad the roads were okay so uh, we've got a lot of salt and they put calcium chloride and magnesium and all kinds of junk on the roads here in Kentucky during the winter time. Um, so anyway, the truck has been through a variety of weather conditions and it's been probably about six months. So I thought it would be neat to uh, take a look at how this stuff is holding up. Let's actually look at the frame and chassis on this truck and see how this stuff has held up throughout this winter. And then we'll finish up uh, talking about this a little bit here in just a minute. But let me show you. Let's go look. All right, so I'm up under the front wheel well on the passenger side. And, you know, you can kind of see that this stuff is still on the frame because you see how it's kind of rough looking. Um, so what it does is that that coating that you put on there, it kind of makes it sticky. And so here, let me zoom in a little bit. You know, so, so it creates a layer on there that's protective. Uh, but the one drawback is it hangs on to dust and dirt. You know what I mean? So you can tell the stuff is still on there uh, because it's still rough. See that? I can kind of rub a little bit of it off. Uh, gravel dust, dirt, grime from the roadways kind of sticks to this stuff. Now, if I go through the uh, car wash in town and use the power washer, I can kind of clean some of that off. Uh, but anyway, that's evidence that the stuff is still on there, you know, and that's right behind uh, where the tire is. So when you're driving in bad weather, obviously there's a lot of spray coming up from the tires, hitting the frame and chassis all the time. And so I would think that if that stuff was going to just wash off in the weather, I would think that this area of the frame would be the first part to go. But that surface shield seems to be really hanging on tight. Uh, I did the shock towers and everything also. And you can see that it's still, it's still on the shock towers and stuff. See? I can kind of rub a little bit of it off. So that's pretty impressive. Let me crawl up under here. Um, back here where the, uh, you know, the middle part of the cab is. Let's crawl under here and take a look. Oh, goodness. Try to do the best I can here. And so you can see kind of the same deal back here. I mean, it's the coating is still on there. You can kind of see oh, right over in there. You can kind of see where I kind of got a little bit too much on there over spray, but that's okay. Look at that. Everything, everything looks fantastic. Uh, while I was at it, I also sprayed some on these brackets for the factory uh, step rails here. You can see these are the factory ones that came on the 17 to 19 trucks. And the brackets are sometimes not treated from the manufacturing process as well as the frame and chassis is. So I went ahead and sprayed some of this stuff on there too. And same deal. I mean, you can see where it's just kind of hanging onto the dirt and everything. 
but if I wanted to, I could rub the Surface Shield product off of this metal and uh, kind of expose it there a little bit. But yeah, I mean, all those brackets, obviously they're dirty because I live in a rural area, but you can see there's no rust or anything in them. Uh, this stuff has protected really well. You can see this one's got a lot of mud on it, but that stuff just washes right off and that Surface Shield will hang on to the surface that you apply it to uh, pretty well. Back here in the back of the truck now, um, let's take a look up under here. So you can see leaf springs, there's the frame back here. Again, same story, it's just dirty, but you can see how that product has really held on tight. Again, this is an area back here behind the tire that gets a lot of spray while you're driving down the road. So again, I think if this Surface Shield product was going to just wash off, I think it would do it in this area of the truck pretty quickly. But man, the frame and everything looks wonderful. Again, just dirty, but <laughs> it's protected really well. Um, I'm super happy with this stuff. I really am. I sprayed a little bit of it. Of course, I got the trailer hooked up, so it's in the way at the moment. But I put a little bit of it back here on the uh, receiver hitch. And you can see, man, it's, see, it just kind of hangs on to everything. That's like a piece of grass or something. Yuck. See, it's just a real sticky stuff. But you can see how well that stuff uh, just hangs on to the metal. You know, and again, back here at the back of the truck where you're really getting the salt and the water and everything splashed on this all the time. And you can see that surface shield product is still all over the chassis. So now I'm over on the driver's side. This truck has coming up on 90,000 miles on it. And look at that. The frame is just awesome. No rust anywhere that I can see. This surface shield stuff is awesome. I really, really like it. And I guess the thing that's so great about this stuff is that it was easy to put on. I could do it right here in the driveway. I didn't jack the truck up or put it on a lift or anything like that. I just crawled under right here in the driveway, sprayed this stuff on. Like I said, I got a six pack of this stuff for about $65 and I used three cans. So basically for around 30 bucks or a little more, I treated the entire frame front to back and I just showed you how good it looks through the first winter. Now this stuff claims, uh, let's see here, right there, two years. The comfort control spray button provides nice, even coverage that lasts up to two years. So we'll see about that. You know, we'll come back next year and we'll see if this stuff still looks like it's hanging on. Uh, but through this first winter, it's done an excellent job. Excellent job. I'm super happy with this. You mean for 30 bucks and you can do it at home? You know, it took me about an hour to go front to back. I started in the rear. What I did was I dropped the spare tire down so I could get up above the spare tire. That's an area that people forget about a lot of the time. Uh, but yeah, I dropped the spare tire, went up in there, did all the rear. Then I put the spare tire back up in there, came to the middle of the truck between the axles and did all of that. All the cross members, transfer case cross member, mounting and all that transmission brackets and everything. And then I came up front and just got up under the wheel wells. I got up under the front of the truck and did like all the suspension components and linkages and everything. Um, yeah, I did all that with three cans, about 35 bucks. Can't beat it while I'm thinking of it. Let's go down here and I'll show you what these linkages look like. I'm sure they're filthy dirty like everything else on this truck. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, see? Everything looks fantastic. So, again, this uh, Surface Shield product is awesome. Um, since I only used half of my six pack, then next year, if this stuff really does last two years, then next year I can use the other three cans and basically that'll get me four years of protection for 65 bucks i mean you just can't beat that so anyway check this stuff out if you're looking for something to you know do your own uh, winter time protection on your truck with i'm super happy with it i like it a lot uh, but yeah you guys check it out see what you think about it all right time to go finish up the oil change should be all drained out by now we'll talk to you guys later